<sighs> so much fun. Kansas City protest. Apparently it got violent yesterday. I'm the only one who's using the uh, actual walk signals. Everybody else is just kind of whatever. Right now it seems more like a festival than an actual protest. side or the other. gonna let my neighbors my friends my brothers and sisters stand without me they need a witness out here we're all the same people I, I don't understand why we keep having to do this over and over again you know for 
75 years we've been doing this, and it doesn't seem to be making a bit of a difference. <laughs> but I'm going to be here with them every day if I have to. Keep walking, buddy. Lie to the media. Bullshit, man. Address your people. Man, Lucas, you're on the wrong side. Disarm the police. Don't put your head down. Get over here. You're on the wrong side, man, Lucas. We ain't holding nation weapons. They are. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. I'll speak, I'll speak real quick, I'll speak real quick. Oh, see, I already broke it. I already broke it, that's why I am. See, I'll fix it real quick. I'll start shouting, and then I'll, I'll talk first. All right, everybody. Ah, uh, I came in. You got it? Press on? What's button? All right, I came here to listen today. I understand where y'all coming from. So let me say this. Look, I know I'm in my spot now, but I know where I came from. I know where my family is. I know what's necessary. And I know that black lives matter. I know that black lives matter because we have seen in too many situations where our lives are undercounted, where we're neglected. Trust me, I'm a brother I'm a brother who had a good position and still got arrested, right? I'm a brother who's got a family that's still trying to fight to get out of trouble. So we're here with you. We're here to try to make sure that everybody can walk around in this community not in fear. And I mean not in fear of somebody shooting them, whether they're wearing blue or whether they're wearing anything else. And so that's why we're here today. We're here to talk about how we can get better justice. We're here to talk about how we can change systems. I want y'all to do things like make sure you vote. I want you to do things like make sure you get rid of people that you don't like. That includes me. Get them out, right? Things don't need to be things don't need to be the same forever. Things won't always be the same forever. And the way that we do it is that we make change now. The way that we do it is that you make your voices heard, that you get loud. You get loud when you think nobody is listening. You make sure you make that difference. So that's why I'm here. I got nothing particularly profound to say other than this. I don't have any children, but I got eight nieces and nephews, two boys in their 20s. And every day I think about my nephews and the trouble they can run into. I don't want them to get stopped because it don't matter what they do. Sometimes it just matters what they look like. And I want them to have the same opportunity as everybody else. So I'm going to be out here as long as y'all let me be out here. that I listen and tell me what you disagree with. That's what we're here for. That's what we evaluate police officers. Body cam. 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 Y'all know my position. What's that? Officer neglect. Officer neglect? You've been a part of the body cam. I'm with you on that, but you know what I need y'all help for? I need y'all to join me when we fight for it the next time. I already had this once. We tried to decriminalize marijuana a few months back. We couldn't get it through city council. It's this type of group that I need. It's this type of group that I need to get body cams. It's this type of group when we talk about where we put money, instead of putting more money just into the police force, where we put more money into our community, where we put more money into building up people, not just arresting them. Right now, I'm trying to fight us building a bigger jail. And I need y'all with me. Because I don't think we should spend. Because I don't think we should spend $330 million on a new jail when we got people that are hungry every day in our city. So that's the sort of work I want to do. All right? All right, I'm going to be here. I'm going to stay up. Lisa. Lisa's going to call me out if you see anything. And I'll be coming back too. But let me stay. Let me listen to you. Let me talk to you. I want to learn. I want you to learn from what I got to say too. And that's how we're going to do this today. And we're going to change things not just tonight, but this week, next month, next year, next decade. Because I remember when I was a little boy, watched the Rodney King beating 
and then some of the officers acquitted a year later. We need to change that. That was what? That, that was 28 years ago. That was 28 years ago. We need to change it a lot faster than 28 years. So I'll just leave with this. I'm with y'all. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. So what brings you out here? Going to our website. I said I come, brother. I said I come. I came to listen. You know, but this is my city. This is their city. We should all be able to talk right now. So that's what I'm here for. Remember, we're drawing a line in the sand. We got a line in the sand. And if you're not on my side, you are against me. If you're not on my side, you are against me. Body cams and local control of the police. Period. Do not accept anything else. Don't accept another thing. Don't let people tell you one thing and do another. They've got to come and do what we told them to do. They work for us, not the other way around. We got several officers that continue to kill, to continue to abuse our people. So I'm going to ask you up front. I'm going to ask you right now in front of everybody. How can we have him removed? How can we have Jean Peters Baker do her damn job? and prosecute. This qualified immunity is one thing, but it needs to be addressed because excessive force, we don't have a policy. Am I right, Henry? Where's our attorney at? Henry? Henry? Where's our attorney at? I'm an attorney too. <laughs> okay, so James, I know my question is, what about this excessive force? Because I, we got excessive force going on in our, in our police department and they get a slap on the wrist. But if I go do the same thing to my neighbor, I go to jail for life. So, real simple. She's asking, how do you change the chief of police? How do you change the prosecutor? How do you change the mayor? We got an election on Tuesday. We got to vote. That's going to be step one. And you got to make that change. Prosecutor's up for re-election right now, right? You should ask her to come out here. Yeah, we want to change. Okay, I got we you. We want to change. I understand. So, right, so that's the easiest way you do it. If you don't like the chief of police or if you don't like the mayor, come on down. You can talk to us. Come to a commissioner's meeting once we have them again. Come to city council, right? That's the way we can get that move. What about the suppression of black votes? Yeah, I'm with you on how they suppress. I was a black vote that got suppressed, right? I tried to vote a few weeks ago. How do we know and it's it, not being suppressed though right now? It's, I think it is being suppressed is my point, okay. right? So how do we try to change that? We got to get them to let us do normal things like mail-in voting, right? Why are we in the middle of a pandemic and they still not letting people that feel like they're too sick to go in just request a ballot, right? That's the sort of thing we got to change. We got to make sure they stop felon disenfranchisement, right? All these people that we're excluding, right, by law every year in Missouri, not getting a chance to vote, right? That's the sort of thing that I think helps change step by step. But that's the change that I want us to see. Um, and so what I would say then on local control, I want us to just have local accountability. Because when I look at Minneapolis, right, Minneapolis has local control. When you look at New York City, New York's got local control. All these spots got local control. So to me, the difference between if people are feeling like they're respected by police or not, doesn't mean just if you have local control or not, or else we wouldn't have 99% of the tragedies we see on the